Okay, now we're going to look at the two variations of the cross collar choke from the mouth. So, I want, when I'm holding the mount, my knees should be in tight to my partner. I'm going to try and tuck my feet under. Okay, uh, to make the grip, generally, actually, as a, as a general point of, of holding the mount position, we want to have either a low mount or a high mount, and we, we want to try to avoid spending too much time and kind of in the middle space. So a low mount would be, I'm really low, and I've done one of those, uh, either I've, I'm closing my guard behind my partner or I'm great finding his legs and extending. But both of these attach me to my partner's hips, allow me to put much more downward pressure and make it hard for my partner to bridge. Okay? If on the other hand I take a real high mount, like I walk up into my partner's armpits and you, you'll notice my mount is, my legs are opening my partner's uh, arms away from his body. When I do this, I take myself away from my partner's hips and so when my partner bridges, his bridge doesn't move me nearly as much because I'm so much higher. Okay? The worst case scenario is you are sitting low but don't have any leg entanglement because now when my partner bridges, it affects my base a lot and is more likely to roll me over. Okay, so as a general rule, we should prefer to be quite high or quite low. Okay, living in that middle space, riding in that middle space is the dangerous thing. So I'm gonna begin my choke by opening my partner's collar with my off hand and reaching four fingers in as deeply as I can. Okay, so I'm gonna reach basically until I hit the ground, okay? And then I'm gonna kinda loosen my hand, pull deeper, uh, pull the, the collar through with my off hand, grip, and then I, I put my elbow and my forearm flat on my partner's chest. This helps to avoid my partner weaving his hands through to defend, okay? So as soon as I've taken my grip, I smash my, my forearm flat on my partner, and then I've just given the grip that we did for the last escape, so I need my weight to go away from that. If I keep straight over my partner, I'm kind of gifting him the upa escape we just looked at. So my weight goes wide, and I begin to make my hips heavy. Okay, when I'm ready, I will open my elbow to open my partner's chin and my second hand goes in under my first, okay? And I am uh, initially gonna be palms out, okay? I'm gonna rotate my hands, bring my elbows to my hips, my head to the floor, and squeeze. Okay, all together it looks like this. common mistake with the, the cross choke is people open their elbows. So they make their grips and they do this, okay? And in actual fact, the motion is make your grips and then pull your elbows to your body, okay? And you get a really strong squeeze. It's also important to make sure you rotate your hands. So the, the natural orientation of my hand after I grip the collar is gonna be somewhat angled outwards. So I wanna grip and when I make the choke, I want, to, I want to rotate my hand so that the bladed edge of my wrist finds my partner's neck. You can't really choke someone with the flat of either side of your forearm. And so we need to make sure on this choke that we put a bladed edge, right, the, the narrow edge of our bone against our partner's neck, okay? And so here, go, go open. Also important that the second hand goes under the first hand if we're doing the two palms out variation of the choke. If I try to, even if Mike's not hand fighting me, if he just tucks his chin, when I try to put the second hand in, it can be very difficult to find my partner's neck. Usually I'm gonna find his face and I have a garbage show and I won't make any friends. <laughs> so nobody likes me as it is, so I, I really need to work on, on that. So I open my elbow and this allows me, even if my partner's tucking his chin, by opening my elbow, I make a space uh, to, to find my partner's neck. Okay. The second hand, I don't have the, I don't have the help okay, uh, to get my second hand in. On the first hand, right, I reach in and then I use my second hand to climb it deeper and deeper. My, my first hand is now tied up and so when I make my second grip, it can be difficult to get quite as deep. So one thing that you can do to help is that you're kind of going to do like a princess wave motion with your hand as you dig. So you're, you put your hand in, you're going you're gonna to like run into his gi and then you wiggle and make princess wave motions until you get as deep as you can. Once you're there, if I try to squeeze the choke from here, I certainly may get it, but right now my hands are doing double duty. They're choking Mike, but they're also holding my body up. So I put my weight down on my head so that my hands are free to only choke, okay? And I'm no longer using my hands to physically support my weight, and so I'm able to pull more effectively against my partner's neck, okay? Now I wanna uh, look at one other variation of the choke. This is probably the one I like better, though I'm not a huge collar choke guy one way or, or the other. So I make the same grip that we made on the first choke, 
okay? I bring my weight to the outside, and this is particularly effective variation if my partner is tucking his chin. Okay, now I just want to wave in a big circle. My elbow drops to the mat uh, right where my partner's neck meets his shoulder, and I'm going to drag my elbow across my partner's head to turn his head. And now I grip the ridge of material on top of his shoulder, put my head to the floor, okay, and finish. Okay, and the finish is again, I'm rotating this hand and squeezing, pulling both elbows to my body. On this hand, I should be able to fairly directly set the bony ridge of my wrist against my partner's neck, okay? On this choke, I'm not gonna try to make a thumb inside grip. That's a strong grip for choking, but in this situation, usually takes too long and will give my partner time uh, to hand fight me effectively. So I wanna just, as I circle, okay, I turn my partner's head and I just, connect to the material right here, and I just make a, essentially I just grip it in my palm, right there. I'll also kind of cant my wrist slightly so that I wind up with more of my hand in contact with my partner's neck, okay? So this one looks like this. Also, this, can, this is also effective because sometimes your partner will tuck their chin and turn their head to try to stop you from getting under their chin. So this, this elbow down and elbow drag can force my partner's head back to the other side. Okay, and then I grab. If you can't find the material, you can pinch and wiggle to get your hand connected, and then your head comes down, elbows to my hips, twist, and squeeze. And we get a nice choke. Okay.